Now let's take a look at a quick demo using Visual Studio to write a small program in C Sharp. I'll run my console application demo from within Visual Studio. This is available in the sample projects and the website mentioned in the description of this video. Now you see I have one class here named program. Inside the class, I have one method called main. Inside the main method, I have two lines of code. The first line says console.writeLine hello world. This writes out one line of text, hello world, to the screen. The second line below it actually detects user input trying to read a key from the keyboard. What this does, it actually holds the program so it doesn't quit immediately. I'll show you what I mean. Up here, you'll notice that there is a green button, a play button that says start on it. By clicking on that play button, I can see a command prompt appear, or rather a console application appear that looks like a command prompt, and it says hello world on it. That's that first line of code. The reason it's blinking and waiting for input is because I have the second line that says read key. If I were to press enter on my keyboard right now, that ends the program because there's no other code below it. But what if I wanted to stop at the first line of code? I could click on it and then set a breakpoint by clicking F9 on my keyboard. I can also set a breakpoint by clicking on this gray area right outside this line, which is line 14. When I click on it again and again, it toggles this red dot and highlights this red line. When I run the program again by clicking on start, this time the program will pause exactly at that line. You can have as many breakpoints as you want on your statements, so you can pause to check out additional details about your program. To continue, you can just hit F5 so that it continues to run the program, or you can click on the green button on the top, which now says continue instead of start. So let me click continue. So the program continues to run, and now it's on the second line waiting for input. When I hit enter, the program will stop running. So that was a quick look at running a program within Visual Studio by clicking on this green start button. Going back to my slide, you'll notice I have a little hint at the bottom that says to press F9 on any statement to toggle your breakpoints, and an arrow that points to the green button to start or continue. That is the end of our introduction to Visual Studio. Next, we'll take a look at C Sharp and the different parts of the language.